51. Wake it up with temperatures already in the 70s, Annie. That's right. Uh, we're only seeing a few 60s on there this morning in two locations. We'll pretend you were one of them. For some reason, the temperature is not showing through. Maybe the uh, temperature graphic, I think, is a little jealous that you're getting 60s on there. The rest of us starting off in the 70s this morning. How about 69 up to Blackwell? So see, they do exist. 76 over to Pryor, 74 over to Tahlequah at this time. Miami looking at 74 for your actual temperature reading. Here we go again. That sun is out and we'll see plenty of it for today. Temperatures will be warming up quite a bit. Already starting off about five to 10 degrees warmer this morning. And that's gonna act as a springboard for what's in store for today. We had a high yesterday of 93. We're looking at mid 90s easily uh, here across the board for this afternoon. This is all part of our Wade's RV Weather Camera Network looking out live. Another big factor is what it will be feeling like, because we all know yesterday it wasn't feeling like 93 in the afternoon. It was feeling much warmer than that, and that's going to be the case for today. Even as we're looking towards that 10 o'clock hour, feeling like 93 over to Ponca City down towards Bristow, and by the afternoon, easily to those triple digits. I do believe we'll stay below that 105 degree reading for the actual feels like temperature. And I say that only because we're not under any heat advisory for today, although this model wants to push us in uh, well to that 108, potentially 109 for today. Take those precautions if you're going to be outdoors at any point for today. And for those of you that are working outdoors, uh, make sure you're staying extra vigilant. As we're looking at those wind gusts for today, staying uh, below 50 miles per hour, Another beautiful look out at Pensacola. This is all part of our Wade's RV weather camera network uh, for the morning hours. It just almost takes your breath away this morning. Air quality alert, something else that might take your breath away. We do have this in the forecast for today. Tulsa and you know, surrounding counties need to uh, have the to precautions ready to go. For those of you, a lot of people talking about already what you can do to help carpool, if at all possible. Maybe you're going out and about for this afternoon. Maybe call up your friends and go together for that lunch or out to the pool together. Combine those trips. Avoid mowing during the day, if at all possible, and refuel by this evening. That's going to be your best window. For your temperatures for tomorrow, starting off your Saturday in those 70s and then jumping back into those mid-90s. And, of course, Corey and I, we put a little special Father's Day graphic together for our own dads that we love very much. We'll be celebrating this weekend. There's my dad, Jack, up there and Corey's dad, Chuck, down there. Mm -hmm. Temperatures will be warming up again. No surprises there. I can promise you, though, a much more quiet Father's Day than what we had last year, by all means. 80s, 90s by the afternoon. No showers and thunderstorms are anticipated. Hard to believe we welcome the first day of summer.